By the end of this video, you will learn how to create an Amazon KDP account, edit your files, that is the format required, convert your docx file to KPF, design an ebook cover, and finally upload your ebook. This tutorial is sequential, so make sure you watch and listen attentively. First, you go to kdp.amazon.com then you create a new account then here yeah, you fill all that is required once you fill everything up you tap create your kdp account this is my kdp account this is how it looks like and this is how we are going to see it when your account gets activated so the first thing you need to do now is to set up your account so now you click your account so this is my profile this is getting paid tax information account id then the next thing is getting paid so you click on this getting paid okay as you can see now you are set up to receive payment for sale across all amazon marketplaces what i did was that i linked my us account to amazon kdp if you are in nigeria you can't use a nigerian bank account for amazon kdp you need to create a foreign account and how do you do that you do this by creating a pioneer account you might be confused right now you might be like how do i get a foreign bank account well it's not that difficult just go to this video's description you will see how to create a payonia account just click that video you will see how to create a payonia account then you link your us bank account to amazon kdp so that you can get paid and also in that payonia account you can also link your local bank account so once you get paid in your us account you can transfer it to your local bank account so that being said another problem you might encounter when setting up your amazon kdp is updating your tax information this gave me a lot of problem that is let me show you something right now let's view our tax information what you need to know is that you need to have a tin that is tax information number but i i don't have a tin so so i told them i did not have a tin number so they allowed me and they verified me and i was able to upload my book but anyways if you have problem with this tax information number you can drop it in the comment section and i'm going to answer that and solve that so let's proceed To do that, you go to MS Word, that is Microsoft Word. Okay, this is my book now. Okay, this is where I wrote my book. So I just type, just design my book. Just design my book here. Then once I design my book, after designing my book, then I save, I save my book, that is save. And as I save this book, the first thing I had to do was to format my book. Now, how do I format it? I use Kindle Create. Now, let's just go to let's go to Google and search Kindle Create. So, if you have a PC, you are going to download kindle create this is for formatting your book so i've already downloaded my kindle create already why do you think you need to format your book now you need to format your book so that it will be user friendly that is your buyers anybody that buys your book they'll be able to see it in a good format now let me show you what i mean here now this is the kindle create i'm going to click this i want to format my book now So if you have a system we are going to install kindle create then what you do now is you transfer your file in ms word that is your docx file then you take it over to this kindle create so it's going to convert to 
KPF. So what you just need to do now is to okay, this is my book already. So I will just open it. So this is how it looks. Now you should note that when you have your file in docx and it's already arranged, if you carry it over to Kindle Great, it might be scattered. So what you just need to do is to arrange it here because this is how people that buy your book, this is how they are going to see it. So now let us review this book. So now if we preview this book in tablet, look at how it's going to look. It's so scattered. Look at it. It's so scattered. But if I change it now and I put it to phone, it's still scattered too. So let's see it in Kindle e-reader. It's a little bit, okay, it's arranged. So now what I just need to do now is I start optimizing it and start arranging it. Then this is how to use the Kindle Create. Let's say you want to make this a drop down. What you just need to do is, if you want to drop this down, you can just go to this place, formatting, then you go to apply drop cap. Now this is what drop cap, drop cap is, but I don't need this. Then you can actually play around with this. Yeah, you can, it, is, it just looks like your MS Word actually. Then here you can, once you highlight this place, that you can make your bold. You can it, italicize this. You can underline this you can just the way you use your ms word is the same way you use this kindle Creates. but just the only difference is that this is formatting and this is how your readers are going to see your book on amazon and also this way you can design add more designs to your book so if you have any issue formatting your ebook you can drop a comment in the comment section then i will reply that then now once you are done previewing it you can save this then once you are done with everything and you want to export it what you just need to do is to click this generate i want to click generate it's going to be exported let me show you let me i just click this generate right now so as you can see now the file type has been converted from docx to kpf so i'm going to save it to okay let me save it to my computer let me save it to desktop so this is my book save okay so look at it now this is my file ready to be published that is, this is how i'm going to upload my file on amazon kdp you know for every book you need to have an ebook cover so now how do you design your ebook cover the first thing you need to do is you go to your computer go for computers research now let's do this you go to amazon.com my book talks about social media marketing so what i just need to do is i search social media marketing Now look at the books here. What I just need to do is look for one and copy their design. Not that you copy it exactly, but you just have you just look for a way you can modify it. Okay, now let us look at this. Social media marketing for small business 2022. Six books in one. So now let's say we want to copy this design. Then what you just need to do is we go to Canva. So let's go to Canva now. This is my Canva. I'm using Canva Pro and I got Canva Pro here for free. If you want to know how to get Canva Pro for free, you can drop a comment, Canva Pro free. Then I'm going to reply that and show you how you can get your Canva Pro for free. So let's proceed. So the first thing I'm going to do now is search ebook cover so we select the blank template 
then the next thing for us to do is to resize this and it's only those that are using Canva Pro that can do this if you don't have a Canva Pro you can't actually do this but you also know that you can actually use Photoshop that is if you know how to use Photoshop it's not only Canva Pro you can use to do this then also the width is 1600 then the height is 2500 then we copy and resize so this is the recommended cover for your Amazon KDP so let's start designing the first thing to do is we look we go to elements now let's use a square I want this to be red just to have a kind of feeling social media marketing strategies so I search for different social media so I go to elements whatsapp I'll use this search okay recently used okay So the next thing to do now is to remove this image background. We click this edit image, then we click background remover. Okay, I'm going to put her here. something like group group your your business online so I will delete this then I write, then I can just add my name. I can just put something here yeah, and just write pen handed. So this is my Amazon KDP name. So with this, I'm done. So you can rate my design in the comment section. Although this is just something I just came up with now. now. So you can just design something like this on your Amazon KDP and then you are ready for upload. You can always modify this. So once you are done with this, so we move over to uploading your files on Amazon and start optimizing it. Now this is the best part, that is the part we all have been waiting for, that is uploading your book finally. So where do we go to? We go to this create, this create button, you click on create. Okay, so now what you see here, Kindle ebook, create ebook, create paperback, create hardcover create series page but i don't have the strength for paperback and hardcover so i just go for ebook so i go to create ebook now as you can see it, this is in progress now these are the three stages we are going to pass through the first one is kindle ebook details you are going to put your book details your kindle ebook content that is your manuscript and also your cover then the next one is now the pricing aspect so now 
the language english of course then the book title my book title is social media what you should make sure is that you should make sure that your book title relates to what people can search for let's say you are writing a book on relationship you should make sure that you should insert certain keywords so that your book will be searchable on amazon so the next one is subtitle but well, i don't add the subtitle series okay let's leave this one edition number i'll leave this one too then my the primary author okay is my name this is just the name i use on amazon kdp ben handed so you can go over to amazon.com and search ben handed i are going to see my book you can actually buy my book it's just two dollars 99 cents you can just do this to support me then also the last name okay i'm going to give this ben ben then the last name i'm going to put handed then contributors i don't have any contributor i wrote this book myself then this is where i'm going to put your description that is what your book is all about and also you should make sure you utilize this part because this is the one of the most essential parts because i got to put a lot of keyword here so i got to write what your book is all about let's say you can write something like although i don't want to type it but you know that when you are writing something you need to add a description you can say something like this is a social media marketing guide for small businesses here you can make use of social media to boost your sales this guide will show you the step-by-step -step procedure on how to grow your business using social media like youtube google facebook instagram twitter etc make sure you get this book right now and you will never regret it i am just giving a, an example but you can check my description and see what i did there so once you are done with your description let me just do something here so that i can go to the next place okay so now is publishing rights i own the copyright of this book now because of i wrote this book myself so i own the copyright and i hold the necessary publishing rights now but if you click this this is the public domain network now look at it if you are publishing a public domain book now keyword you are going to insert searching keywords so that you can also rank here you put something like social media okay let me let me go to amazon right now and see the kind of keyword i'm going to use let's see amazon.com so i will just let's see social media social media marketing i will i will i'm going to insert social media marketing i will insert social media i also insert social media marketing for dummies and social media marketing for dummies 2022 so this social media they also are done then we go to set categories now what's, what's the category of your book now uh, let's see education study aid okay no let's see non-fiction non-fiction a business okay i'm going to pick advertising this is just my own choice you can choose your own this is based on your own book now you are going to pick as you can see pick up to two so i'm going to pick just two so the next one i'm going to pick is i want to pick let me pick entrepreneurship then i save then the next one is age range i just want 18 plus to read my book 
then I'll leave this this US. Then I'm ready to release my book now. Yeah, if you put make my ebook available for pre-order, this means that you are going to start advise, advertising your book and telling people about your book before your book really launch. But I don't want that. I want to release my book now. Then I put save and continue. So the next one is enable DRM on this Kindle book. Now if you can read what DRM is all about, that is digital rights management. It's intended to inhibit unauthorized distribution of the Kindle file of your book. That is, it will stop people from sharing your book anyhow. So if you choose yes, people can share your book, but if you choose no, people won't be able to share your book. So it depends on you. Then here now, this is where we are going to upload our manuscript. So now, once you click this upload ebook manuscript, we go to where our file is. You know what? I kept the file on my desktop, and this is the book here. So once I, I click on open, so it's going to upload. Upload it successfully. The next thing we are going to do is to upload a cover you already have that is in JPEG or TIFF so I'm going to upload this so I click on this so upload your cover file so I'm going to go to my download actually that's my cover photo that's my cover photo is in PNG so I need to convert it to JPEG so how do I do that? So first thing we are going to do is we go to paint. We go to paint. Then we go to where our file is. Then we carry it over. Then we'll just save it as JPEG. Save it as JPEG. So I'm going to go to save it in desktop. Okay, I think we need to reshape this picture. So let's resize this. Save it as JPEG, then in desktop. Okay. So this is my book now. This is my cover now in JPEG. I just converted it to JPEG. So now I'm going to carry it over to our Amazon. So I just click upload your cover file. Then I go to my desktop. Then I Amazon test cover then I upload this finally my cover has been uploaded so now you put your ISBN if you don't have ISBN you leave this so once you are done with this page you go to save and continue so this is the last part that is the pricing now you put Enroll in KDP Select. Yes, you are going to click this enroll, but it's your choice actually. Then here is all territories or individual territories. That is, you want it to show worldwide or you want it to show in a specific place. It's also your choice. This other place, Amazon, you want it to be Amazon.com or you just choose anyone you want. Then this place, your royalty, you pick 70%. Then your book price in dollars. Yeah, I'm going to pick the minimum here is okay i don't really know the minimum it's not showing here but you just put the price you want so if you want it to be 399 you just put 399 
then it's going to show what other prices that so it's going to show other prices so once you are done with this you put allow lending for this book if you want it then once you are done with this also you publish your ebook but i don't want any of this because i've already published my book before and it's the same content and i don't want amazon to ban me so i won't publish this but once you publish this actually it's going to take you less than 72 hours but mine took me i think less than less than 24 hours yes to publish i didn't know i just i came online and i saw that my book has been successfully published so if you do this also it's going to work for you and i hope you find this video interesting don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoy this video make sure you do that don't be too stingy